Hello, I'm Jesus Rodriguez Baño. I'm the coordinator of the modern project that has been developed by different partners, including the University of Sevilla and Hospital Virgen Macarena, uh, the University of Geneva, the University of Tübingen, the University of Utrecht Medical Center, the uh, University Hospital in Besançon, and the University of Oxford. The objective of the project was to uh, investigate the determinants of transmission and the uh, rate of transmission of ESBL producing Enterobacteriaceae in different aspects in the community in order to inform a mathematical modeling that would help in prevention measures. So we developed studies in long-term care facilities and in households to evaluate the transmission events and also uh, investigated the presence of this bacteria in uh, wastewater samples and in food related to these environments. What we found is uh, important heterogeneity in the prevalence and acquisition of uh, ESB represented Enterobacteriaceae in different long-term care facilities, mostly associated with basic preventing, uh, preventive uh, infection control measures. We also uh, saw transmission within household members when a colonized patient was discharged from hospital uh, to his house and there was transmission to his household members. And some of the risk factors found suggest that behavioral intervention can help in preventing those transmissions. We found uh, both clonal and horizontal transmission contributing to the spread of ESBL genes in the community. Very interestingly, we saw that both E. coli and Klebsiella isolates and the type of ESBLs that they carried were different in human-related environments like wastewater as a proxy for human contamination and food. So the isolates in food were different from the isolates in human-related environments, suggesting that mostly human-to-human -human transmission is the main mode of transmission of these bacteria and these genes within the human environment, although occasionally there could be some importation from other niches. And all this information will be gathered in order to provide and develop mathematical modeling that hopefully will help us to take decisions about what are the main preventive measures to avoid the ongoing uh, dissemination of these uh, important bacteria in our community. Thank you very much.